hello guys so another day and as you guys know those who follow me and watch my streams and stuff i have been stuck in the george's jail for the past three days Bruh. i tried to get shot or skin and i'm not gonna turn it around i don't want to spoil it for you guys but yeah at this point i have opened over 400 possible chests and no luck i've chased a bunch of servers this is not everything but look at this guys look at all the metals on the ground i have farmed so many metals without the chest that at this point it's not even funny anymore and that's just on this server so yeah now i spoke with odm and apparently guys the odds for cosmic skins are one in 200 on impossible <coughs> and one in 1000 on hard ironically enough this is actually probably because of me this was uh, actually my exact numbers that i suggested for the skins when we were looking how to pretty much balance the rates on the previous update so i guess i'm getting beaten by my own the by my own venom i guess i don't know if that is an expression but you get the point right and yeah i don't know i've been severely unlucky i still regret not farming that skin actually what happened was since i thought that cosmics were gonna stay like that like the way they were i ended up deleting my ascension one jotaro and i stopped farming for the skin on hard before rate cooldown was introduced and yeah, well, this update, as you guys know, Cosmics were buffed and Jotaro is now being used. So yeah, that's pretty much the thing. And I've also wasted 30,000 medals in the process. But you know, maybe today is the day, who knows. We're going to use the purple key and we're going to see how that goes. But anyway, so today on this video, uh, the topic is going to be Ascension 3, which might be coming tomorrow or Saturday. I don't know when the update is. I actually asked when the update is. Or if it's not coming this week, it's definitely coming next week. And yeah, so I have decided to just talk a little bit about Ascension 3 and how it could be introduced into the game because I think everybody universally can agree on this that we just don't want a continuation. Just uh, sacrifice even more units and even more essence, right? And now, in my opinion, guys, this is how you could easily tie in the game yet another uh, function. Now, there is a fifth rate difficulty, as you guys know. I don't know its exact name, but we can call it Nightmare or we can call it Hell, whatever. Uh, I, think, I think Nightmare is a nice name for it. So, yeah, <clears throat> we're going to call it Nightmare for now. And yeah, so Nightmare difficulty, rate difficulty. Now, my suggestion is that this thing, this rate difficulty, Obviously, you guys can see that uh, even Impossible is pretty challenging right now with uh, the current power scaling. Now, it's gonna obviously get easier if Ascension 3 and stuff like that is unlocked. But for the time being, being like that, obviously Impossible is really easy. So, a fifth difficulty would be pretty much requiring at least five to six really strong people, if not more, like tuning-wise. Now, if I pull up the spreadsheet, uh, I'm actually not gonna show it on the screen. I have shown it in the past video. The way scaling works, hard and impossible are 20 times apart. So impossible is pretty much 20 times harder than hard. Now, I don't on the new raid, but yeah, if it does, it's going to need a lot more than five, strong, five, six strong people. So yeah, I don't know how they're going to tie that difficulty in. I assume because uh, people will get stronger. Maybe it's not going to be a 20x power gap, but yeah, nonetheless, I think in that difficulty, you should be able to drop some items every run, guaranteed. Every chest uh, at the end of the dungeon gives you one. Now, I don't know whether they can actually do that, but, uh, because I don't think I don't know if the chests are the same, like this and the other chest. I assume they are the same, so maybe they will have to like break these objects apart and like make them different objects. But yeah, the idea is that at the end of a raid one, like you would get one uh, Ascension three essence we could call it ascension essence right and then you would need like 10 to 15 maybe 20 if you want to make it a little bit grindier to ascend one unit now that in itself might be a little bit too low as we haven't even discussed how strong ascension 3 is gonna be and yeah so in a scenario like this where you need like 10 15 20 of these uh ascension essences you would obviously need some other stuff as well maybe three copies of the unit or that would be a little bit too far stretched and maybe still some uh, cosmic essence which i don't know i personally think that cosmic essence should stop at ascension 2 and not be used again but yeah maybe you need like a couple more copies so ascension 1 it's one copy 
Ascension 2 needs two copies, and then Ascension 3 will need three copies. I'm fine with that. And then the Ascension Essence. Now, <clears throat> besides that, I guess, what other things could we do for Nightmare Raids, correct? Like, uh, we need to do something, right? Like, obviously, the raids need to be interesting. Like, besides, obviously, the point of ascending every single one of your units, you would need some other incentive to farm, right? And I had an idea, which, I don't know, maybe you guys like it or not. So... I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, Mr. Clock Wisdom, Wisdom Clock, he likes to put a lot of uh, paintings of himself and Tyrep in most of the maps. I don't know if there is one in every map, but I've seen it on a lot of maps. And yeah, you can see here we have Wisdom and we have Tyrep. Now, uh, wouldn't it be really cool? Okay, uh, quick pause right here, quick pause. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Three, two, one. Tyrep, if you love me, please give him the skin. I'm over 400 chests. Oh no, man. That's that's another that is another key wasted. Oh hell no. I hate this game. I just hate this game. Like this is unreal. I have over 400 possible chests opened, and I haven't gotten it. Like this is just insanity at this point. I don't even know what to say. Uh, anyway, back to our topic, right? Like, so these nightmare raids, what they could potentially do is like inside like those doors, there is a chance at the like. When you complete the raid, so raid has to be completed, right? That is important. There is a chance that, like, these uh, wallpapers, well, these paintings, rather, not wallpapers, are portals, right? They transform into a portal, and then, like, just, like, jump into this, and, like, you get teleported into a treasure room. And in that treasure room, you have other chests, which have a much, much higher chance to give you the cosmic skin. It has a... Obviously, it's giving you a lot more stuff, right? It's gonna give you a shit bunch of uh, skins as well. I guess you can say that you could put like two or three purple chests in it, right? Something like that. Obviously, that has to be a very low chance, maybe like 10% chance or something to unlock that uh, chest room, that uh, treasure armory. We can call it treasure armory uh, for copyright uh, sakes. So yeah, something like that. I think that could be extremely well uh, put way to actually introduce both Ascension 3 into the game and Nightmare Raid difficulties and obviously the chests will contain boosts as well and all that uh, jazz but yeah, I think that's a very nice way to introduce two systems at once and kind of like, you know, give people the incentive to actually complete it because in most cases you would ask yourself, you know, why would I even bother like doing something that requires to gather multiple strong people because it's gonna be extremely hard like sure obviously ascension 3 is a must but at some point even that caps out right like you'll just ascend 3 all your units and yeah like something like that where you can farm like uh, a lot of boosts and stuff like that and in the future you can add new currencies that might be introduced into the game like this is just an example right but i think that it's a pretty solid idea and you just like slide two uh things at the same time both Ascension 3 and how to actually tie it into the game to also activate your raids, right? Because obviously raids are still a big part of the game, but people are still not satisfied. But yeah, like something like that, you're looking at like if you hit the treasure room, you farm like what? Two, three thousand, four even thousand medals uh, off the chests. And on top of that, you have a higher chance of cosmic skins and you get boost as well. I don't know. That's a pretty good incentive to me, at least. It sounds pretty good to me. Now, in the future, there is a lot more things that could be introduced in those chests, but I'm not really going to talk about uh, some ideas that I have. I think it's too early for ideas like the ones in my mind right now. But yeah, like something like that, I think could be very nice as an introduction to just uh, tie and plant all the things together. Let me know, guys, how you feel about that. But now going back to the original topic on this video, how are you what is ascension 3 gonna do like how are you gonna bring ascension 3 into the game what is it gonna do how do you guys feel about a hundred percent increase like i don't know how that would how that would change the game and how that would impact the game like having ascension 3 units now if we go with uh, the hundred percent damage increase which i suggested that is pretty much like having a permanent damage boost right if all of your units are ascension 3 so how would this translate into the game a player with all units on Ascension 3 and good quirks and good skins and stuff like that. So basically, a late game player would solo impossible on a reasonable time, right? I think something like that. That's kind of like how this would play in, I feel like. 
you would be able to it's all impossible in just a couple of minutes which is pretty fast because right now with a boost even like soloing impossible is a pretty big task obviously it's doable but it takes more than 10 minutes i think well actually i don't know because my units are kind of only very bad state at the moment like this guy has sorcerer one this guy has strong one it's because i'm re-rolling them and i'm also re-rolling so i don't really have the best perks on my team right now so my units are kind of bricked but i feel like yeah if you had something like that basically a permanent damage boost running you would be looking at uh, an impossible solo in like five six minutes i think i don't know if somebody has a really strong team and has like tried to solo impossible let me know how you are doing time wise and Obviously, you would be making a pretty decent progress for the next difficulty. Now, again, if the scaling is the same and Nightmare is going to be 20 times harder than Impossible, the question is, how the hell are people going to actually start soloing it, right? To actually to be able to get the first Ascended uh, Essence. Like that's, that's also a question, so I don't know. Maybe it shouldn't be obviously 20x. It's probably going to be a little bit less than 20x scaling-wise. I don't know, that's just uh, thoughts, but yeah, let me know guys what you think about all that stuff that I just uh, talked about in the video. I think they are uh, pretty good ideas, at least to my brain, they sound pretty good, and it kind of like also ties both of the things, I would say nicely and pretty smoothly as an introduction to the game. Now, obviously, maybe the devs have other plans for both of these um scenarios i have no idea but yeah let me know guys first of all what would you think do you think ascension 3 should give as a buff to your units how should you be able to get the ascents and what do you guys think about the next raid difficulty when should it open and how should it work and stuff like that now i don't know if they reserve the fifth difficulty of the raids as uh tournaments i don't think so i think tournaments are just gonna be a separate thing but yeah we're still off a good month of tournaments so we'll see about uh that that's gonna be a little bit wild but yeah anyway guys like i don't know do something go to the go to your local church light up a candle say a prayer or something just please help me get that freaking skin like i am losing my mind it's been three days that i've been grinding it i've opened over 400 chests i've wasted three keys on it which is a big mistake i'm just i'm just not down bad right and the reason why i'm saying that uh the keys are a mistake don't get me wrong it's not because i'm not saving them for the next update or anything which is a pretty good strategy if you guys are doing that that is completely fine but the primary reason is i'm just capped on metals i can't use my metals i have 10k metals my unit has a double black hole so i'm not changing anything this guy has double black hole as well so yeah my metals are completely useless i have lost about 30,000 metals uh the last couple of days that i have not basically used i could have farmed any other raid to roll black hole you want last map you want uh jjk you want uh demon slayer whatever doesn't really matter but yeah 30,000 metals down the drain and that is all because i didn't farm the skin when heart was basically a 60 second work without a cooldown that is i don't know i'm just paying the price right now for deciding not to farm because i thought chotaro was not gonna be used honestly i had another idea if i don't get it by today what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna roll slicer of perfection here and i'm just gonna use a mythical trait and just call it a day because it's just insane like it's such a huge time waste that it's just not even fun anymore like it, it, it's literally not even fun how much time we're wasting right now but yeah anyway guys that's pretty much it for this video i guess we can all uh have a moment of disappointment together now it's either that i'm gonna scream or the video is gonna end i don't know uh you guys decide but yeah anyway guys let me know down below in the comments your opinions about the topic of this video and i'll catch you guys all on the next one take care